I want to show you a supposed contradiction. Uh, the Bible critics, they say there's a contradiction between what we're seeing in Genesis 23, 16, and 18 with Abraham buying this uh, burying place for Sarah and what Stephen said in Acts 7. Look in Acts 7, verse 15 and 16. Now, if, you, if, you, if you've been listening, <laughs> thinking about what we've been talking about, when you read Acts 7, verse 15 and 16, you, you ought to say, okay, what's up with this? Something, i got to think about this. Because it, it does seem like a contradiction. But remember, in the Bible, there are only apparent or seeming contradictions. If you think there's a contradiction, the problem's not the Bible, the problem is in your mind. You need to believe God. And even if he doesn't show you, it took, it took a while for me to see the answer to this, but I believed it and knew there was no contradiction even when I didn't understand it. When I come, up, when I come across something like this, if I don't know the answer, I say, Lord, I don't know the answer, but I believe your word's true and the problem's with me. So if you would be so kind, show me the answer at some point. <laughs> but I ain't worried about it. There are no errors and, and real contradictions in the King James Bible. Now, there's some errors in the modern versions. I can show you those because they've been corrupted. But the King James Bible is the word of God, and it's absolutely perfect. So in Acts 7, verse 15, Jacob went down to Egypt and died. He and our fathers were carried over into Shechem, laid in the sepulcher that Abraham bought for a sum of money of the sons of Emer, the father of Shechem. You see a problem there? Abraham bought a burying place of the sons of Heth, and it was down in Hebron. Hebron is south of Jerusalem. Shechem is north of Jerusalem. So why does it say Abraham bought this place of the sons of Emer, the father of Shechem? And, and that, that, you know, when you look at it on the surface, it, it just seems like a contradiction. Now, I've read commentaries that said Stephen made a mistake when he said this. Well, I have a hard time believing that since he was filled with the Holy Ghost <laughs> in Acts 7. As he, everything he said was by the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost didn't make a mistake. The answer is the information here is supplementary, not contradictory. God has a way of giving you more information later on. You'll be reading in a passage where something is not explained, and then much later it is. That, that, that happens quite a, quite a lot in the Scripture. So this is supplementary. He, Stephen's not referring to the burial place that Abraham purchased in Hebron. Hebron, south of Jerusalem. He's referring to a different one in Shechem, which is north of Jerusalem. In Genesis 12, verse 6 and 7, And Abram passed through the land unto the, unto the place of Shechem. Same thing, it's spelled differently in the New Testament. You know, you understand the difference between going from Hebrew to, and Greek and all that stuff. But sometimes the same name is spelled differently for that reason. It said, In place of Shechem, to the plain of Morah, and the Canaanite was in the land. And the Lord appeared unto Abram and said unto thy seed, Will I give this land? And there builded he an altar unto the Lord who appeared unto him. Now, it's very likely that if he was going to build an altar there, that he bought this, this place where he built that altar. I don't think that's a stretch at all, because look in Genesis 33. Genesis 33. Verse number 18. This is Jacob. Genesis 33, 18, and Jacob came to Shalem, a, a city of Shechem, which is in the land of Canaan, when he came from Padanaram and pitched his tent before the city, and he bought a parcel of a field where he had spread his tent at the hand of the children of Hamer, Shechem's father, for a hundred pieces of money. And he erected there an altar and called it El Elor Israel. Now, that's what Stephen seems to be referring to, but he said Abraham, not Jacob. Because Jacob did buy a place uh, there in Shechem of the children of Hamer. And that's the same thing as Emer in Acts 7. So which is it? Well, he was going to build an altar there, so he bought that, that place to build that altar. I, I believe 
That's what Abraham did many years earlier. See, Abraham had been there, and he had bought that land and built an altar, but he did not use that land, and so for many years it reverted back. Because of him not being there using it, it reverted back to the sons of Hamer. And then later, Jacob comes and, and purchases it, purchase it the same place again. So both are true. And that is where Joseph was buried. According to Joshua 24, verse 32, uh, the bones of Joseph, which the children of Israel brought up out of Egypt, buried they in Shechem in a parcel of ground which Jacob bought of the sons of Hamer, the, children, the father of Shechem, for 100 pieces of silver, and it became the inheritance of the children of Joseph. You see, because in Acts 7, it had said... Jacob went down in Egypt and died, he and our fathers, and were carried over into Shechem. But see, Jacob, Jacob was buried in Hebron, in the same cave with Abraham and Sarah. We saw that, right? But see, it said, he died and our fathers, and were, were, the fathers were buried. Joseph and other of the Jewish fathers were buried in Shechem. So you got to watch that thing. I mean, it... it it is not a contradiction. It is supplementary. You've got to put the whole thing together. Now, there's a theory that some say, well, Stephen was in a hurry, and so he just telescoped it together and referred to two transactions as one just for convenience. Yeah, you know, that's fine, but one thing I know is it ain't no error, ain't no contradiction. It's very likely Abraham had bought it first if he built an altar there, hadn't used it, Later on, many years later, Jacob, knowing that about Abraham and that altar, going to build another altar once that lamb back, you see? And all that fits together. And, uh, and so you can always trust your Bible. And if you come across something that seems like a contradiction or error, just keep believing God, trusting Him, and He'll give you some light on it.